the cashless policy of the Central Bank of Nigeria has gone full throttle in recent times, but is the country prepared for a full-fledged cashless regime? Nigeria's federal government has concluded plans to unveil a carbon tax policy and budgetary system for the country. We'll look at what this means for businesses in the country. And we have analysis of uh, some headlines on the front pages of today's national dailies. Good morning and uh, welcome to Breakfast and Plus TV Africa. My name is Kofi Bartels. And I am Messi Ebopo. It's good to have you join us this morning. Kofi, how are you? Very good, thank you. And Messi, how are you doing? I know you're fine. We've been talking oh, cool. before oh, we came on. Um, but let's uh, get the ball rolling with a look at the trending stories today. We start with the first one, uh, President Mahmoud Buhari uh, unveiling new equipment for the Nigeria uh, police force. I think we touched on it a little bit yesterday because the uh, pictures were on the front page of one was, or pictures rather were on the front page of one of the papers, the dailies. But what has happened is that the president, uh, this was on, on Monday, it was on Monday, at... Um, the police headquarters is called Lewis Edit House. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, Sounds yes. Familiar, right? Oh, yeah, very familiar. Mercy, you have a big smile on your face. <laughs> I don't know why. When I said Lewis Edit or Louis Edit House, um, that's the fourth headquarters in Abuja. Well, Lewis Edit or Louis Edit, whichever it is, uh, was the first inspector general of the Nigeria Police Force. It happened to be from Cross River State, uh, where Mercy and myself have a, an affinity. So. Um, Sure, that's why Messi is so excited to hear that. But um, you can see the screen on your screen the pictures of the president unveiling what looks like armored personnel carriers, APCs. Um, we hear that these equipment, you know, was uh, aware acquired to improve the operational capability of a Nigeria police force. A wide range of operational assets. So what I see doesn't look too wide to me. Um, but they included. Um, uh, 127 vehicles, okay, You're talking about uh, um, uh, trucks, what we call pickup in this part of the uh, world. Um, 127 pickups, you have uh, anti-riot water cannons, armored personnel carriers like we just saw, uh, SUVs, SUVs, uh, buses, um, we have um, ambulances, trucks, I'm sure these ones will probably be to carry officers or even carry people they arrest during protests. And crowd control barriers. These ones are the water cannon vehicles. This one, you know, these ones are the water cannon vehicles. The ones are used to pour hot water on people who are protesting, uh, you know. Uh, the crowd control barriers, if you look at the picture, you see barbed wire coming out of uh, the, those, those, those vehicles. Uh -huh. Barbed wire. So that's what um, ha was, was acquired. But these are, I mean, I looked at the President's uh, Twitter handle on Monday. They are meant to, for crowd control, they are crowd control and anti-riot gear, basically. That's why I said I don't think they are wide range. Okay, um, mercy. Well, so um, you probably want to ask yourself if, if we're going to have an election or we're headed for a war, like a conventional war. That's what it is. Now, and if you follow the Nigerian election over time, one of the concerns and one of the issues about the elections is, is that our elections have been militarized. So much presence of the Nigerian police, the military, and all the security agencies around. And that's also a major signal. It's just scary that you have people with guns. And now you're talking about armored vehicles. We probably also would understand the reason why that is because of the insecurity, especially in all the parts of the country. And over time, 2022, part 2022 hasn't been fantastic for us as a country. But we, we are asking when and how will we get to a point where we have the elections as an election? It doesn't really have to be a war because it feels like we're preparing for a war. We're preparing for combat. And that's why the president you know, would go to the any length, I mean, to approve these vehicles, armored vehicles and what have you for the police. And, and that's 
and that's not even something to write home about. But I think that if we have been very proactive prior to the election year, then I'm sure we probably would have gotten our act right. Now, over time, the government has indicted herself with her actions with those who are involved in crime and criminality. Terrorists, what have you, band-aids, various attacks. He rather had sent a signal that the government is weak and they have been overcome by these powerful external forces. And now we have to deploy that. Is, is that a plus for our elections? When people have to go out and then they see, you know, everywhere highly pleased in terms of, you know, the armory. It's, it's very worrying. Well, we'll move away from that. Yeah, but before we move on, uh, as is custom, let me just uh, give a, a final, my, my thoughts on this, Mercy. Um, uh, you mentioned the word war, uh, you know, and I mean, if, if they got equipment that were, was meant for war, I would even be happier, you know, because those, are, those equipment will be used to fight crime. You know, if you have a machine gun, Mercy, you have an assault rifle, you have a, a grenades, maybe, yeah? you have um, bazooka, all right, and all those things that they, they, they take, you see in the war movies, machine guns, you know. At least you'd see that um, those things won't be used on citizens. They're used on, on who? On, um, on, on, on criminals. So I, I would have been happy if we had equipment that, you know, are used for. But these are um, anti-riot equipment, okay? Medicine. These are crowd control equipment. Um, the, the IGP talked about 2023 elections. I never saw that in the president's uh, Twitter handle. Um, so, so my question is, uh, are, they, are they expecting that there'll be protests? Are they expecting there'll be riots? Okay. My, 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 my uh, concern is, is the, the, the fixation on quelling riots, the fixation on controlling riots, most of the riots we've had in the country, most of them, I'm talking about the, not riots, sorry, the, the protests uh, that have been peaceful have been um, violently uh, uh, ended by the police. In some cases, they do not even allow um, Nigerians engage in peaceful protests. And the chief accomplices or the leading culprits of this are the state governors. These people call state governors, mercy, are amongst the biggest barrier to democracy in the country. People talk about Buhari days, Buhari that. The state governors are worse. These guys, these guys, I'm just trying to look for the, the charitable words to use on, you know, the state governors are worse. These, these, guys, these guys have, 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 have formed themselves into um, uh, dictators, or pseudo dictators, you want to call it that, okay? If, if majority of the state governors in this country, if they were to be presidents, we would, they would only be comparable to Idi Amin, the former dictator of Uganda, or Mobutu Sese Seko of the Den Zaire. Okay? If these state governors, most of them were in charge of countries, we can only compare them to Mobutu Sese Seko or Idi Amin, the worst of dictators, amongst the worst of dictators in the history of this world. And I think Nigerians need to look and these governors and give them a lot of pressure so that they can in states when there's a protest it's not the president who would call the police to say no people can protest it's the state governors okay you know, so I, I hope i hope that if people want to peacefully protest you know which is their right it is their right it's in the law enshrined in the law that these equipment are not meant to to suppress that right of nigerians to protest to 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 um prevent them from lawfully and peacefully ex exercising their rights. People were on a peaceful protest at Lekki Togate or Lekki uh, Togate Plaza of course. when they were gunned down in a massacre as, as, um, as um, uh, uh, declared by the Judicial Panel of Inquiry set up by Lagos State Government. Okay? So, so what I'm saying is we're not seeing equipment being bought, like I said, to fight crime. Crime is on the increase in the southeast, in other parts of the country, even in Lagos. People are being kidnapped. There are businessmen who can't you know, go to their businesses, I know, in other parts of Lagos State because of lack of safety. Okay? Where the equipment that they are buying to chase the criminals? Bandits, kidnappers, armed robbers, 
unknown government, etc. Where are the equipment? We are I mean, seeing federal government using money for the police, you know, to buy equipment against the people. So, so I, I, this is an anti-people um, uh, approach, and I, 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 I do hope, and I suspect, I do hope that this equipment, they are not planning to suppress peaceful protests and to chase peaceful protesters. You see the water cannons? A water cannon touches you, Mercy, you, it, that's one of the worst experiences that you can ever have, okay? Because it's not ordinary water. People, I mean, this, they call it this for what it is. I mean, no, and, so, and, so, and, and, and the civil, and civil society is not even, they're not doing their job enough. Okay, so the water cannon is hot water. I know. Okay, no, we no. have to move on, but this is, um, um, please, the producer should calm down. This is life <laughs> we're talking about. Coffee? It is hot water. No, I now, imagine, no, imagine someone pouring your government, pouring hot water. Mercy, if I t took a kettle of hot water and I poured it on you, what would you call me? Um, I mean, you can't even do that. No, no, no. That's no, on the no, one side. No, hypothetically speaking, let's just say I can do that. If I took a, what would you call me? Your mother, your, uh, any... Oh, so, unprintable oh, names. Yes. You can't say it on TV. You're a psychopath. You can't say it on TV. No, I want to say it on TV. Im Coffee, Im imagine we need to move away. No, no, please. Imagine the federal government when of Nigeria. When you say please, we, yeah. no, we, last we sentence, have Last sentence. Now, imagine that your government taking your money to buy equipment to pour hot water on you when you say we no go agree peacefully. That's number one. They bought them. But, but that's um, more than one sentence, Kofi. You're not more tear gas. Tear gas. Okay. Let's move on. Stun guns. You know stun guns. Kofi. The one that when they shoot at you, it will shock you. Electric shock. I'm not trying to stop you, but I wish we had more time. Pepper spray. So we're able to delve Pepper into Pepper spray some of the for other to spray into your the eyes of peaceful protesters. So so the anyway, thing is, you you raise valid points, and I mean I I'm not really seeing rubber bullets to, here. I really wanted to respond okay. to that, Kofi, no, but I, I can't respond or I can't you know put my thoughts up. In some, I mean, as regards anyway. to some of the issues that you have raised, but I, we will just have to move on, right, to the next one. Yes, well, and yes, we well, hope that we yes, have well. some other time to, you know, talk about this. But I would say that uh, it's disheartening, and that's why every time we talk about Nigeria and we make reference to the president, don't forget that it's a federating unit. So you have a state government, you have a federal government, you have a local government, you have a House of Assembly members. You need to know these people, and even every other time. I know that protest is that tool that you use to demand, uh, you know, change of policies or, you know, reject policies of government that are not favorable. But maybe we need to understand that there are other means. Something called a recall. You, you have to know those who are representing you in different constituency. They are there because they have to represent your interest. And so the recall method or tool is there also as a means of protest. You necessarily don't need to come out to protest in the streets. That's why you have to know your local government chairman. That's why you have to know the uh, governor in your state. And that's why you have the state assembly members with something called impeachment. But, you know, that can really work when, you know, have, it, it seems like you have opposition party in the house and then everyone is a one party system. So let's say, you know, the APC was ruling and every, almost everybody, there's no opposition. That, and that's what happens. And that's why we're having all of this impunity. That's why we're having what we're having. But I know that the Nigerians are very determined in 2023 to go out despite all of the odds, you know, to express their concern and change the government. Fingers crossed, and let's see how that pans out. We're really out oh, wait, of time. We're not asking but them we'll to change government. Kofi, you know, let's move on. This is 7.30. No, no, the no, next no, one, no, on a top no, trend. It, 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 it's, it's a disclaimer. We're not asking them to change the government. I know what you mean. No, I'm saying so that, says you know, Nigerians are willing to change the government. No, no, no. no. Nigerians uh, should vote for who they want to vote for. So when I say yeah, change of government, I'm not saying that, you know, there's anything extra. This is going to be a process when we change government. And that's what elections are about. So I'm not, you know, speaking heresies. Okay. It's an okay, election okay. period. All right. Who will right. cast the votes and government will change. Okay. And that's what it will be. All okay. things I, 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 I just said it's in case anybody. Uh, no, I, I, I totally understand. And I'm sure that I'm very what you, you know, yeah. uh, precise about what I said this morning. But um, we will just delve quickly to this one and then we'll move on. There's a video that made the round. We'll quickly just look at this one where a man confronts a police officer in you know, your state for harassing uh, someone, uh, I mean, or starting the back a bike rider. Uh, let's quickly look at this video if you have it, and then we'll come back to discuss some more before we take a break. 
No, you don't have any authority to stand here and be stopping Okada Fiki. Yeah, authority will only let my daughter Okada do me by. Just because you are in uniform. You are just using uniform to oppress people. No? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. The question must be, if you have uniform, let go. Just tell me, this is the authority I have. This is the law that gives me the authority to be stopping people. Well, that's that video of a police officer, um, you know, of a Nigerian police officer that was confronted by a man who was extorting a bike rider. Well, we take a break. That's the much we can take at this point in time. When we return, we'll have more conversations. Please stay with us. Good morning.